Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you're ready to uh, relax to some terraforming Mars. I've got my blankie ready to go. I hope that you have yours for all of my EU people watching uh, as this goes live and obviously the, the people that are chilling out throughout the day. I'd love to play a Saturn Systems run, but again, I don't see much. I never seem to see much for it. Is there a way of getting oxygen out early? Not really. Vitor is probably the better play here, seeing as there's all this energy, there's an obvious um, science strat to pursue. <sighs> it's hard for me to not pick Vitor, is, is the shame. When I really do, I'd love to go methane from Titan. Strats with, uh, with Saturn systems, but... I mean, Vitor is Vitor's just better right now. We'll grab a couple of card draw. I think that the nuclear power is good. We do all this. Um, we'll grab a couple cards first. It costs nine, but we get three dollars back as Vitor anytime we play a card with points on it. So, eh, supply. You know, water splitting plant goes really well with a nuclear. Pump. Not bad, not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and get another TR just to get some more cards drawn. Trans Neptune is is fine. It's it's not much, but it's it's fine. Uh, we'll steal some steel, and we'll get the nuclear power. So that means that next turn we're basically just going to play water splitting plant, and that'll be our first couple generations is pumping the oxygen. To do that, I need 12 bucks. No, I need two oceans. Oh, my God. Well, I need I need one of these to be played. So I don't think I can do it this turn, no matter what. But we'll still grab both cards. The problem was that flooding, you don't get money back for playing negative parts, and I couldn't... Oh wait, steel was on the board. I thought steel was not on the board. I think I was a dollar shy, but I didn't want to sell anything. Eh, I guess I could have maybe played it. Um... I think right now TR is very important to us because we have so little income. So for that reason, I th I'm going to play Flooding. I hate this because I'm looking at the cards and going, yep, if I had played this for the two steel, it would net cost $3. If I hadn't bought Ice Asteroid, which is a good card worth grabbing, I could have started bumping the oxygen this turn, which would have been nice. Uh, instead, we're just going to grab the steel or the titanium and we'll import some GHG because with this heat or this first wave of three energy coming into heat, I think that we'll be happy to get almost a heat bump sooner rather than later. Uh, we like these cards. I don't think I'm going Jovian. And if I grab both cards, I still have the $12 I need. Um to do what I want. In fact, I can play Natural Preserve. I'll get $3 back, and then, no, nah, I can't quite afford it. So, Water Splitting Plant it is, and there's the Oxygen. Gen 3, we're not in a great spot, but it's fine. Uh, Dust Seals is almost a must, because you get the money back. Rad Chem is meh. So, Oxygen Bump is nice. A Heat Bump is nice. We have some TR all of a sudden. Uh, dust seals cost me two. I get three back. Natural preserve. We play this. I think we want a card. Just wave power is fine. We're going to steal another energy, which is negative point. But we don't mind the negative points right now. We don't mind it at all. Industrial microbes and house printing. Very plausible cards. Cloud seeding is interesting because we could actually get some decent plant income um, by getting an ocean down but it, it's generally not that powerful a card oddly enough if I play house printing I get three dollars back uh, which means that I can play power supply consortium and that's two cards played for twelve dollars for a steel and an energy production so the same as um, industrial microbes so, I just thought it was fun to play it in that order instead. 
Uh, Callisto Penal. Algae is probably worthwhile. Worth pushing some oxygen. Not that we're going to need the oxygen. Uh, pushing oceans to get plants, which will push oxygen. Just in case you didn't follow my, my train of thought there. Um, it's not critical, but we have the ocean cards in our hand right now. So it's um it's worth talking about that's for sure i think that we spend one more turn kind of building up our just productions by getting a little bit more energy and steel coming in and then let's see where that ends up for us honestly i'm happy with the black polar dust and even more energy and a one point animal so that when we get to the end of the line we're good because i did just let the predators go by Um, okay. So if I do peroxide power, I'm now low on income. And then I play black polar dust and I'm really low on income. We have minus four, but we got 23 TR. So yeah, so it's like the start of the game. <laughs> it feels like. It's not like we have a, a stellar run or anything like that, but, you know, we're, we're getting TR. We're building up as we go. Steady as she goes. Um, oxygen is popping. I think that we would like... We have a lot of heat that we need, actually, so we're going to keep grabbing heat instead of plants because the oxygen, we're fine. We have algae coming. It's a really slow run. I mean, minus something, something. Ooh, nitrolithic, though. That's good. Is satellites good for us? Hell no. This is, um... This is something. So that all gets played. Nitrolithic is a good enough card. Wave power gets us some money back. And then another tectonic stress bar. 14 energy. I think I let um I let a card go by that you're all probably thinking of. Uh if you're not part of the gang, I'll let you know what it was. I think it was physics complex. We've gotten to the point with energy where physics complex would have likely been um more than just a little contender. It would have probably been very good for us. So that's too bad. But med lab here is going to give us four income for negative four to four is nice. Um, and moss, why not? Another plant income. Next thing you know, we'll play ice asteroid and algae. We're coming into the end here and we don't have that much heat. Like I need this energy to keep flowing over. Olympus, Con there we go. There's some, there's some heat. We only have three productions left, but that's still a heat bump. So happy to move things along we're getting like two heat pumps a gen which is nothing to scoff at uh, but i do think we want a little bit more card draw oh i played those in the wrong order olympus conference would have been half a card more and we get money back on it so there's no way we're not playing it i just have to commit to the mistake um, and then if I play you for 12, I get three back. So I've only played nine and that leaves me enough with carbonate. So we will play you. That gets us a card draw. IO mining. No, thank you. But three more heat production. Not bad. Um, I worry that we don't have enough productions left. We do want a city on the board. So this is actually worthwhile. Not just for the discount. It's worthwhile. It also leads to anti-grav, which is minus three on everything. And next thing you know, we want all these cards. Not sure how we're going to play them. But it's what we want. So this goes out. I'd really like to place, like, my greeneries beside oceans. But I think that that's just going to have to be this spot here for now. That gets bumped, heat bump, heat bump. So that's all, like, good. Then we're basically just waiting till next round to get uh, anti-grav and the gang played. I don't think I need to do this oxygen click. Well, I think uh, I might. No, if I'm going to play all these oceans, then I don't have to. We just let that turn to heat. If we have to in the last round, we will, but 
for now it's fine we do need more ocean so we will grab this and bob's your uncle anti-grav so 13 dollars, but we get three bucks back we get a card draw because science corporate stronghold happy to see it um we really really need to get some of those oceans down so that ice asteroid is coming and then i'm gonna build a greenery for the most money back for just a moment and then i should have drawn a card first titanium mine with one production no thank you these two cards is what i was looking at next but i need to end up with enough for algae but i think it works out so you take convoy from reopa you put it here then you do ecology which is going to get us three bucks back because it has points on it and six bucks back and it's just in a, a good spot for money and that gets us at least some algae i guess i should tech dem first technology demonstration uh mass converter it's a lot of energy man but for to what end right there's just no no real benefit to it other than all the benefits which are innate <laughs> there are a lot of benefits <laughs> i will sell you i mean it's two dollars off it basically pays itself back in a couple of card plays which we know we're gonna play so we might as well take it we let all this heat come over we have at least a green yeah we're fine we're fine uh investment loan thank you decomposers it's only for points but we get three po three bucks back for playing it so so we do this, we do this, we do our heat bump, our heat bump. Uh, another heat bump. So we got a lot to do here. Oh, ice cap melting, you don't say. That helps a lot as well. Um, so then we ice cap melt here. Wait for it. Where's our city? Corporate stronghold. It's for steel. Don't, don't hurt me. I promise it's a worthwhile investment. So you put that down. Um, we are officially making a profit, a dollar for Trans Neptune. So that's pretty good. I mean, fish is only a buck or two, right? So come on, give me a break. Now the question that I have, oh, I didn't even play Decomposers first. Man, this has been just a round of playing things out of order. Um... The question is, do I do... We need this ocean. Do I do it... For two one-point animals? I think so. I think you just gotta... Give me fish. Earth office. Sorry, bro. So that gets... Then we do a heat bump. Then we have to do mangrove. And that gets us the greenery that we need for money back. And now I have pretty much just enough to do two heat bumps. But because we can get rebates and also how many cities on the board? One, two, three, four. We're not going to get a bonus greenery for playing greenhouses. But we would get a point here and here. So that's a two point card for three bucks. Okay, one sec. I play greenhouses. We get two points because of br like break points working in our favor. We take all of these cards and we sell them. So effectively, we need $28. Yeah, all right, so we're good because we get three bucks back. And then heat bump and heat bump yo let's go so we didn't lose we got 20 points on cards we got research which would have been nice um but the main thing here is we didn't lose and we actually have a city with a couple of greeneries around it would have been nice to get to use that extra five plants but so be it it was a kind of a stingy run i played a couple of things out of order but this was never meant to be uh like a 100 plus run
like you could have don't get me wrong knowing the cards that came up you could optimize up to 100 points no doubt uh but you're sorry it's not a 120 point run how about that i hope you enjoyed i sure did i'll see you next time ciao for now